Hello, I'm Chris Gilliland, President of William Douglas Management Company. Today we're going to discuss lien for assessment. Questions arise from members, usually delinquent members, regarding what authority does the association have in collecting dues. Basically, so associations are established in two forms, volunteer associations and mandatory associations. We're going to discuss mandatory associations, which all our clients are formed as. Mandatory associations must either have covenant language or state statutes to enforce the collection of assessments. At the end of this video, we have included an example of declaration language that gives the association the legal ability to collect assessments. But in short, language will typically read something like, any sum assessed by the association remaining unpaid for a period of 30 days or longer shall constitute a lien upon the lot. The unpaid assessment constitutes a lien giving the association the legal authority to file a lien and under the particular state statute proceed before closing on this lien. While there are misconceptions with the membership and the general population about the harshness of associations' abilities to collect past due assessment, the reality is quite the opposite. A very common statement from delinquent members is, my credit card company can't foreclose on me for not paying my credit card bill. While this may be true, a credit card company also does not have to issue this person a credit card in the first place. Unlike a homeowners association, which is required to provide association services such as amenities when a person purchases into an association. To make delinquency matters even worse, members who are paying their assessments are subsidizing those non-paying members. 